Welcome to this tutorial on limits and continuity of functions. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use GeoGebra to understand limits of functions. Look at continuity of functions. Here, I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system version 16.04, GeoGebra 5.0.481.0-D. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with GeoGebra interface, limits, elementary calculus. For relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Limits Let us understand the concept of limits. Imagine yourself sliding along the curve or line towards a given value of x. The height at which you will be is the corresponding y value of the function. Any value of x can be approached from two sides. The left side gives the left hand limit. The right side gives the right hand limit. Limit of a rational polynomial function. Let us find the limit of this rational polynomial function as x tends to 2. I have already opened the GeoGebra interface. To type the caret symbol, hold the shift key down and press 6. Note that spaces denote multiplication. In the input bar, first type the numerator. Now type the denominator. Press enter. The equation appears in algebra view and its graph in graphics view. Drag the boundary to see both properly. Click on Move Graphics View. Click in and drag Graphics View to see the graph. As x approaches 2, the function approaches some value close to 3. Click on View and select Spreadsheet. This opens a spreadsheet on the right side of the graphics view. Click on Options, on Rounding and choose 5 decimal places. Let us find the left hand limit of this function as x tends to 2. We will choose values of x less than but close to 2. Remember to press enter to go to the next cell. In column A, in cells 1 to 5, type 1 1.91, 1.93, 1.96, 1.98 and 2. Let us find the right hand limit of this function as x tends to 2. We will choose values of x greater than but close to 2. In column A, from cells 6 to 10, type 2 .01, 2 .03, 2 .05, 2 .07, 2 .09. In cell B1, that is column B, cell 1, Type the following ratio of values. First, the numerator in parenthesis. 3 A1 in parenthesis, caret 2 minus A1 minus 10, followed by division slash. Now the denominator in parenthesis. A1 in parenthesis, caret 2 minus 4, and press enter. Click on cell B1 to highlight it. Place the cursor at the bottom right corner of the cell. Drag the cursor to highlight cells until B10. This fills in Y values corresponding to the X values in column A. Drag and increase the column width. Note that a question mark appears in cell B5 corresponding to x equals 2. 
This is because the function is undefined at this value. Observe that as x tends to 2, y tends to 2.75. Hence, as x tends to 2, the limit of the function tends to 2.75. Click in Graphics view and drag the background to see this properly. Limits of discontinuous functions In graph B, h of x is a piecewise or discontinuous function. We want to find the limit of h of x as x approaches C. So let us look at the left and right hand limits. For the left hand limit, look at the lower limb where the limit is L4. For the right hand limit, look at the upper limb where limit of h of x is L3. But as x approaches C, the two limbs of h of x approach different values of y. These are L3 and L4. The left and right hand limits exist. But the limit of h of x as x approaches C itself does not exist. D N E. Limit of a discontinuous function. Let us find limits of a piecewise or discontinuous function f of x. f of x is described by 2x plus 3 when x is 0 or less than 0. But f of x is described by 3 times x plus 1 when x is greater than 0. We want to find the limits when x tends to 0 and 1. Let us open a new GeoGebra window. In the input bar, type the following line. This chooses the domain of x from minus 5 for practical purposes to 0. Press enter. The equation a of x equals 2x plus 3 where x varies from minus 5 to 0 appears in algebra view. Drag the boundary to see it properly. Its graph is seen in graphics view. Under move graphics view, click on zoom out and click in graphics view. Click on move graphics view and drag the background to see the graph properly. Click on move graphics view and place the cursor on the x-axis. When an arrow appears along the axis, drag the x-axis to zoom in or out. Similarly, place the cursor on the y-axis. When an arrow appears along the axis, drag the y-axis to zoom in or out. Click in and drag the background to see the graph properly. In the input bar, type the following command. Remember, the space denotes multiplication. This chooses the domain of x from 5 for practical purposes to 0 0.01. For this piece of the function, x is greater than 0 but not equal to 0. Press enter. Drag the boundary to see the equation properly. The equation b of x equals 3 times x plus 1 where x varies from 0 0.01 to 5 appears in algebra view. Its graph appears in graphics view. In algebra view, double click on the equation b of x equals 3 times x plus 1. Click on object properties, click on the color tab and select blue. Close the preferences dialog box. Click in and drag the background to see both functions in graphics view. Under move graphics view, click on zoom in and click in graphics view to magnify the graph. Again, click on move graphics view and drag the background to see both graphs. 
Continue to zoom in and drag the background until you see the gap between the functions. This is because x is not 0 when f of x is 3 times x plus 1. The red function has to be considered for x less than and equal to 0. When x tends to 0, f of x is 3 as the function intersects the y-axis at 0, 3. The blue function has to be considered for x greater than 0. When x equals 1, the value of f of x is 6. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned how to use GeoGebra to understand limits of functions, look at continuity of functions. As an assignment, find the limit of this rational polynomial function as x tends to 2. Find the limit of this trigonometric function as x tends to 0. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries on this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Vidya Ayer from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.